Hello, you're watching the B Player channel, and today I have a very interesting idea. So recently, I was in a contest where I had to make a game in the finals, and the way I thought I would make the game, it didn't go as planned because it was very limited. So I thought I would try to make it in scratch. It's a very stupid idea. So the game is basically like this: there's a game screen which I cannot change, and it is. It's just it is a rectangle. It's not a square. It's a phone screen size. I had to place on the tiles they provided me. So what I ended up doing was I just made a ocean. Then I made a beach. This beach looks very puke-like. Character was a robot who would go around and he would help his friend pick up the garbage that would come from the ocean. Well, I thought I would make it so that it would come in every wave, but I could not do that since the system was very trash so i'm gonna do that here first of all we just delete our character and we need to make a new character so basically what my dog was trying to say here was that make a new character make a new sprite and then you can make it however you like and i'm really struggling here to zoom in into the ideal position and then so i started making a circle you can make whatever character you like I started with the circle but then I forgot it was filled because I am stupid and I made it outline. But then the outline is so thick that it does not work at all. So I make it smaller but then I think I should make it bigger but then I make it smaller. I don't know what the f I'm doing here anymore. And then it turns out to be pixelated. What the heck am I doing? So I delete it and I make a new sprite and I make a new sprite after three tries. And finally I make something. There we go, we got a character now. Now we just need to make him smaller because it's really big. You can make him smaller, however you, you can make him however you like. I'm just making him like that because this is just something I'm working on with, uh, which I'm working on myself and also I'm teaching you guys. Then I'll just add some movement so that when it's clicked, then it will start. So I got the basic ready. So if W is pressed, then it will do what whatever task is given there. It will if it's not pressed, then it will check for the other keys and so on. So I'll just make it so that he changes Y by 10, changes Y by no not here, it's here changes Y by negative 10, changes X by negative. 10 then changes x by 10 you can just check it by clicking on the green flag and you can already see he's pointing but there's one little problem the way is rotating so we have to go back to the costume so this thing you have to center it so that that doesn't happen and now it should work perfectly fine so you can do that you can also move he's really fast so we want it to be a little slow too because we want to torture the player a little bit i'll make one backdrop as level one our level one is done i'll just name this level one so just when quit switch backdrop to level one Anyways, so i'll go back to my sprite and i'll name him player just to make it simple then i don't want him in the ocean because what is happening i don't want him to spawn in the ocean so whenever flag is clicked he'll spawn to this area so he'll spawn right here i'll just click it again now that we have a player we need something the player will take care of not in the good way so we need a trash 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 player trash character trash character i don't know if i'm saying it right or wrong so i'll just make a simple so this is my trash model a trash sprite not model make it size 40. when the flag is clicked it's up here and i'll use some clones because that's what all of us pro gamers do we use clones in most of the games there are just clones of the sprites where I need multiple of them. So level one, uh, I guess we will send like ten of those, and then level two, level two. 